mass notification. Uh, so this is the emergency communication system. Once again, this mass notification is more about things. Fire is just one component of it. There's a lot of different things that may occur uh, as an emergency. I mentioned a, a few, a gas leak, a bomb threat, maybe a shooter in the building. And not every building is going to want to have this, but there's certainly some buildings that do. And the new NFPA 72 codes migrating toward that. It's an emergency alarm code. Uh, they even changed the name of the title, Fire Alarm System and Signaling Code, because um, they realize that there's signals beyond fire alarm that are being factored in. You know, at some point, they might be being able to tie into a national emergency alert system. Um, a, a lot of these things started out based with the federal government and some embassy things, where they had some embassy um, bombings and what have you, they, where certain personnel knew something was coming and they could have avoided it if they could have just contacted someone, but there wasn't a mechanism or process in place to do that. Um, so the federal government's the one that first started this, but it's certainly grown way beyond, beyond that. Um, various Fortune 500 companies, universities, all kinds of different places are also looking for these types of um, systems that go well beyond just fire alarm systems. You need to prioritize these signals. Traditionally, fire alarm system has been the highest priority. Well, it, it may not be. If you have a shooter in your building and you have a columbine and someone pulls a manual pull station and you know that's happening, you would have the capability of overriding that, fire, that manual pull station and dumping your building in those cases. All this mass notification requires a lot more, you know, kind of evaluating things up front, looking at threat, ass threat assessments, emergency preparedness, responses, you know, how would you react in various circumstances and instances. The future building codes may require this for some building occupancies. Right now, the federal government's the only one that mandates these, but owners may elect to do this on, for their own benefit. So there are kind of, you know, kind of commercial private properties that have these types of systems, you know, kind of um, uh, in them. And, and fire protection is a key component of the, the overall process.